Hello and welcome to Hyperplay. Which is the best app for playing PC games on your Android device? Let's find out. Starting off with GameHub, and we do recommend you start off with GameHub whenever you want to play a PC game on your Android device, simply because it sets up so many of the parameters for you. It makes it incredibly easy in a way that WinLater does not. GameHub will choose the best drivers and the best options to get your game running quickest at the best performance, which is incredibly useful and saves a lot of time. Now, one reason not to use GameHub is because it is associated with EggNS, apparently, and there were questions over that Nintendo Switch emulator and the Chinese makers taking your data, and indeed... Those qualms have not been quashed because GameHub requests that you keep location and Bluetooth on. But if you're pretty sanguine about your data and uh, you're quite happy to take the plunge with GameHub, then we do recommend that's your first port of call. Helpfully, it shows exactly the compatibility for the game and your device. So you can see that here we're using the Snapdragon 865, the Retroid Pocket 5 no less. And as recommended by GameHub, we are playing at 720p, although you can quite usefully drop the resolution if you need to get those frames up. And it says that you need 12 gigs uh, of RAM to play this game, which is Octopath Traveler 2, uh, but you don't. The 8 gigs on the Retro Pocket 5 more than suffices. And I should say that this is the Steam version of Octopath Traveler 2. It is not available on GOG, unfortunately, but Steam games will run on GameHub and win later, you just need to install them on your computer first and then transfer over the entire game folder and navigate to the exe file, which you will see us do later when we try out win later 10.1 hotfix. But here we are in GameHub, loading up Octopath Traveler, finding our save. Now this is a tricky area to emulate, this is the city of Canelbrine. There are many artifacts and many streets, and one of the emulators we will look at does chug and struggle, but GameHub is going in and rarely, if at all, drops below 20 FPS. In fact, going up to 24 FPS here, and you can see on the top left of the screen that GameHub usefully provides all this information in a long line with regard to CPU usage, GPU, but we're mostly interested in frames per second. So on each video, we're going to zoom in at this point and have a look. And there we go. Steady at 21 frames per second, 22 frames per second on GameHub and looking and playing great. So it looks like GameHub could already be the winner, but I'll stop you there because the Steam versions of games on GameHub do not have controller support. They do on WinLater, on the WinLater versions, but they don't, unfortunately, on GameHub. So if you did want to consoleize your device uh, and you wanted to emulate a PC game, then GameHub would not be the way to go, and of course there are those data concerns. So let's try out WinLater 10.1, which was our go-to until very recently. And let's have a look at the settings, and we've got settings 24.1. For our turnip, you can use 25.00, but 24.1 is very good. And then DXVK 1.10.3, which we have found to be the best and most consistent across all the apps. Box 0.6.4 has been stable as well. But really, in WinLater 10.1, your options for tinkering are limited. In contrast to GameHub, where GameHub will give you a whole list of drivers, including one we haven't come across anywhere else, uh, 24.3.0 version 12, which works very nicely. But Unfortunately, we are struggling in WinLater 10.1, and you can see it is chugging along, barely getting over 10 frames per second. WinLater 10.1 no longer fit for our purposes. So we went to our fallback, our previous fallback, which was WinLater Bionic Ludashi. Let's have a look at our settings here. The great thing about Ludashi is you can import standard turnip drivers. They don't have to be the ones that are optimised for WinLater. So you can bring in... 9v2, the fabled turnip driver that uh, Ryan Retro said that he discovered, the snake oil turnip driver, and it's working very nicely. 21 to 22 frames per second on that tricky bit of the Canelbrine streets leading up to the mansion. And yeah, as with Game Hub earlier, we are trucking along quite merrily with the FPS going up to around 27, but always staying above 20, uh, which is very much the sweet spot for this area. Certainly don't want to go below 20 frames per second. 
if possible. So, yep, win later, Bionic Glue Dash, tied, we would say, with GamePod, but you can use your controller. On to win later 10.1 hotfix, the new hotness. We were so unimpressed with win later 10.1, we had to go and uninstall it, um, which you must do. You can sideload win later Bionic Glue Dashy and have that app as well as win later 10.1, but you can't have win later 10.1 app and win later 10.1 hotfix coexist. Uh, unhelpfully on the GitHub site, it is just called WinLater 10.1, the APK. Uh, exactly the same name as the previous APK, but not to worry, we made sure we got the right one. And again, options limited when it comes to the graphics drivers, but we have found 24.1 has previously been serviceable, although it stopped being serviceable on WinLater 10.1 in Canalbrine. Let's hope hotfix can do a better job. Good old trusty 1.10.3 for the DX wrapper, changing audio driver to pulse as well. And then we will go across and change to um, aggressive startup uh, and also change the two debug, make sure that sysmem is ticked so that there is no screen tearing. Sysmem helps avoid screen tearing in the game. Box 64 preset, well, that will be a performance. You should always go for performance. Uh, start up the aggressive, as we said, and then leave it as Windows 10 and the CPUs as default. Let's have a quick squiz at the settings. And yes, WinLater 10.1 hotfix starts off with a Box64 version 0.3.6 as standard, though you can go for 0.3.7. We were tempted, but we believe that 0.3.6 is a bit more stable at this stage. So now we've got our container all sorted. We need to make sure that we can get to our Octopath Traveler 2 save game. And we can do that by going into the container and installing the wonder that is AJ Prefix. Now we're going to do a whole new video about AJ Prefix and how to get it set up fully on your Android device and make sure you can install it in all your containers. But effectively, what AJ Prefix does means you're always able to access your save files for whichever game you're playing on WinLater or GameHub. And you can keep your save files in any directory you want. We keep them in our downloads folder, so they're always accessible. If you don't use AJ Prefix, then WinLater and GameHub keep your save game files in the mythical C drive of the app, and you cannot access that for love nor money, no matter which file manager apps you may care to use. Anyway, our AJ Prefix setup guide is for another time, but here we go, WinLater 10.1 hotfix, and immediately a huge step up from WinLater 10.1, which you'll remember was struggling to get above 10 frames per second. We are almost always above 20 frames per second here, and quite happily 21 to 22 frames per second. So on a par with GameHub and on a par with WinLater Bionic Ludashi. So again, the benefits of hotfix are that even Steam games are compatible with your Bluetooth controller. But why not just use WinLater Bionic Ludashi? Well, the concern with WinLater Bionic Ludashi, uh, which has a very similar performance to this, is that uh, they have optimized the app so that it squeezes every last ounce of power from your device and may cause some overheating. And the app developers do make that clear that it Bionic Ludashi should be used at your own discretion. We don't want to take that risk. Uh, we have always found that the main builds of WinLater from Bruno, the main man, like 10.1, and now 10.1 Hotfix, have been much more stable anyway and less prone to crashes. So, all told, WinLater 10.1 Hotfix is our winner. Streamlined, capable, stable, and you can use all that lovely Bluetooth controller compatibility without worrying about your data being compromised, we hope. So there we are, App Wars. We'll have 10.1 Hotfix as the winner. What do you think? Let us know. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.